That's a lot of blood. Holy shit. What up guys, you it is How's fight it? day today. We got Patrick. He's gonna eat some broccoli. <laughs> Daniel. Gotta transfer some money. <laughs> we got Bob's. It's, uh, I was gonna start the vlog during the weigh-ins and the medical check, but I tried and the guy told me to put the camera down, so I didn't do that. You're gonna vlog while you're in the ring. Yes. <laughs> okay, guys. Gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> hey guys, so watch, I'm, I'm about to slip. One, ready? One, two, three. Oh, oh there you go. <laughs> so now we're just getting ready. But we're gonna have massive. some oh. beef root extract, uh, relax a little but bit, and then um, Daniel. I'm gonna give Daniel the camera so I can focus on the fight. I'm gonna let him film uh, everything from the fight, and then I'll talk to you guys after the fight. I just like that's a lot of blood. Holy shit. What up, guys? It's been a couple of days since the fight. My nose healed up. No more bruising in the nostrils. I got cauterized. If you guys don't know what it is, it's like when they burn one of the blood vessels to close because it's always open. So if you get like constant nosebleeds, that's what they do. Uh, that's what happened to me like six years ago, so I got it cauterized, but like a nice straight punch and then my nose just started going and going and it didn't want to stop like the whole fight. It was just <laughs> like accumulating. If you guys can like see in the fight at one point, I kind of like, like sniff <laughs> all the blood out. That's pretty disgusting. But um, yeah, um, mindset wise, pissed at myself mostly. So a lot of the times I find this is like why I'm sharing it with, with you guys. Uh, this is straight up just like, I'm not going to edit this, I just want it to be as real as possible. You, I, I have a very hard time finding opponents to fight. Uh, this is, has been since I, I was growing up in the fight world uh, with all the pros that you guys watch on TV, all the UFC stars, and when I, when I do get an opponent, it's, I'm like so eager and so excited, I kind of looking back and reflecting i i get so eager to be in the ring that i start doing bad habits that i've trained myself to stop doing so in the fight if you guys saw a lot of the times i was jumping in and trying to step in to reach him like i'm six six uh, my, my arms are like insanely long and there should be no reason why i'm trying to step in to chase after you because every time i stepped in i just got clocked in the face i got counter with the right and there's no reason for that. Um, I got hit in the face way more than I ever have in the past. And it's different, you know, it's like, 
Usually, uh, most fighters are lucky and they get to compete, especially when it's fight season. So for elite boxers um, that are on the national team and as well on the Quebec team, a provincial national team, we, we fight roughly every couple of months. So it could be once a month, once every two months. You know, like at least we're, we're fighting a lot and I don't get that chance. Like I screwed up my hand, so I was off for the whole summer last year. I couldn't fight at all. I couldn't even throw my right hand. Um, then coming back into season, I tried to compete, but then again, I had a hard time finding fights, so no one was in my weight class, everyone pulled out, so I didn't get to fight. And then I get to go to Poland to fight, and then I had a great fight. Like every, I think I was just so overwhelmed and so happy. I faced an opponent that I wasn't supposed to fight, and he was like 45 pounds heavier than me, but it was, that's like that's what challenged me. That's what put me more focused into the fight. It was like, like Zach, this is your fight. You gotta do what you have to do. And again, in that fight, the first maybe 30 seconds of that Poland fight that I did, I have a video on it of the highlights and everything. But like in the beginning, I was stepping in to try, but there was no reason for it. And then after that, I adapted. And this time around, I didn't really adapt. I was kind of so eager to go after him and to chase him as opposed to just establishing my distance and walking in and then just shooting from there. That's what I wasn't doing. <laughs> uh, yeah, I wasn't doing that <laughs> at all. And my coach was disappointed. My, my dad was disappointed. People that I've seen me fight in the past, people that have watched me spar, uh, close people, family that were there that, that know me and know my skill level. And they said, Zach, you, you're such an amazing and powerful athlete at the level that you're fighting at, there should be absolutely no reason that that happened. And, and I agree, and I don't doubt myself, I, I don't at all, but at that point, I, I mentally was not trying to reestablish and really focus on the game, and that's something that I have been working on, and I am working on. And in Poland, it showed like that's, the, everything showed like I had to, so this time around, I think, we're, we're in March and I haven't fought since November. So it's November and I fought in the beginning of the number. So it was like December, January, February. So I didn't really do anything since Poland until now. And I only started sparring like in February because we had qualification for nationals. So I barely got any spar sparring in for that, but no one showed up anyways because they, they pulled their guys out because they knew they weren't ready to fight with me. But then I go into this fight and people that were there, it's like, well, was Zach really ready? Like, yes, I, I, I am ready. I was ready. I was, my weight was good. My training was good. My, my mental, like I did the same mental training and, and really just focused on doing what I had to do. But this time, I, I don't know. So I, I sat down, it's been a couple of days and I honestly think it was just my eagerness to go after something that I shouldn't, right? So it's, a lot of the times I talk about creating the opportunity and at that point I wasn't trying to create opportunities for me to strike and land my punches. Yes, I did get him a few times and yes, I did pop him with some good punches and at midpoint within each round I was doing what I'm saying right now but then the majority of it like wasn't. So I'd say it was like 30% of what I'm saying I had to do and I did and then 70% was like, oh, fucking you're bleeding. <laughs> like go after him, go hit and yeah which wasn't great, but you always gotta look at the bright side and the bright side was it happened then, Nationals is in four weeks. It's actually in a little less than that, but it's in roughly four weeks and that just helped me really realize where I am and where my mental is and everything and really tuning in and focusing on those little things that I need to be focusing on because everything else was great. Cardio was great, anaerobic, my threshold, my, I didn't get tired, my arms weren't tired, my cardio wasn't off, I, I felt fine. It was really just that. So these next few weeks that are gonna come by, I'm really gonna fine tune that and really think about that and really just focus on those little things that this fight gave me. So there was, there's always a benefit in something that happens and that is what happened and that's it. That's all I gotta say. That's, that's kind of the end of this vlog and that fight and I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> I know it, the blood was insane but it happens sometimes. Um, definitely not gonna happen at nationals. But uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. 
Uh, there's got a whole bunch coming out, so don't forget to click that notification bell and subscribe. So you guys do know when these videos are coming out, uh, there's going to be a lot coming out since Nationals is on its way. More of the That's It Embedded Shredding for Nationals is coming. So come, tag along, enjoy. I show you guys where I fail so then later you can see how I succeeded because I don't find there's any point of filming and showcasing my journey without the rough patches too. I, you need to see both ends and that's how I feel like I can convey to you guys that I'm genuinely trying to be as true and real as possible. And what better way than showing you my bloody ass face. All right, it's your boy, that's it Zach. My stand right now is on the table because I'm so freaking tall that there is nothing to kind of do eye level so I can talk to you guys. Uh, but that's it, punch, headbutt, elbow, knee. That's all. Peace.